marks once the A jury have set the required standards. The marks come from four judges. The top and bottom mark are then uh, wiped away and the two middle marks averaged. Here's Jackie Dunn, who didn't get the best score on the bars, although she was thought to be the biggest competitor to uh, England's Beth Treadle. But she will be first up on the beam for Australia in this final rotation. And uh, extremely difficult mount, and not quite linking those jumps as smoothly as she'd have liked. Plenty of difficulty in these routines. Linking excellently the somersaults and the jumps. This is really what sets the top class performer apart. Every length has difficult skills. And to gain a big start value, that's exactly what's needed. She must compose herself now. The final elements had no problems at all. A really very solid opening for Australia. Just one point, Christine. She waited a long time to compose herself. What will be the judge's view of that? Yes, she'll receive a small deduction for that. This was a difficult routine. A high start value will come up and uh, small deductions will be made for that sort of thing. She linked them very smoothly on that occasion, however, and was very sure-footed. As soon as she landed, straight into the next jump, although feet not completely round as she landed. This the dismount, two backflips, lifts off the hands. It's plenty of time to complete two somersaults. The Australian team, like the uh, England men's team 24 hours ago, have usually built solidly through the team. They've shown the sort of strength and depth that was enjoyed by Craig Heap's men. And it showed out of 9.9 that performance, and a 9.275 is an excellent starting point. Just to remind you, I said they only need an average of over 7.6. So they would have to have major, major problems. been a packed house again all the tickets have been sold for the gymnastics this is where there is the focus of attention from this very good uh, Australian team the England team just have to wait and then they will have their warm-up and then they will perform so they will know what uh, has been set by Australia um, I imagine, though, the uh, conversations outside have been to make sure they hang on to the second position. Australia just a little bit too far. Alexander Crope, the second up. Poised. And just held on to it. Absolutely certain of the landing positions, feeling the beam. Oh, that's a good combination.
rattling well. The dismount will do nicely. He's been a member of World and uh, Olympic teams for Australia. They were seventh in the last games in the home country in Sydney. And uh, going to be well represented in the apparatus finals, which will come on Monday. And uh, they'll have a very strong challenge for the all around competition. Slight problems controlling leg style there. Had to work hard in the arms to regain the landing position. But that was solid enough. And the combination that comes with it. Plants well. Uses the landing of one as the takeoff for the next. And circles the beam. Short of foot. And really making absolutely sure she's ready. Plenty of power, but you see the leg go out as counterbalance. Eight point eight five, and that's only the second time in the competition for Australia that the mark has been lower than nine. Stephanie Morehouse open with eight point nine two five on the floor. It's quite a long time ago. This is Sarah Lauren who will be uh, next to go. Who scored a nine four five on the floor with a delightful routine. Let's see what she can do on the beam. She's got on fairly easily and straight into a full twisting backflip. But she looks very composed. Good height on the side somersault. And interesting full turning jump. will be a costly error she took a long pause before it which indicated she wasn't feeling that confident but she's going for very difficult combinations here and uh, it really loads the routine heavily every single move is of big difficulty level Confident dismount, plenty of height on the double back. But they don't look quite so invincible here, Barry, do they? No, I'm just wondering how much the break has affected them. I mean, it, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? You do three pieces, and then you go out and have to come back. I think very difficult indeed, and even harder for England, because they will, it will have been almost an hour between their performance and bars and then their performance on beam. It's quite difficult to get back in the swing. And it is really quite difficult to hold concentration for all this length of time. Here you see the free walk open. She didn't have the rotation necessary. But that's the Corbett somersault done all those years ago with a full twist as well. Top level of difficulty all the way through this routine. And obviously has done hundreds of these dismounts approached it with absolute confidence and uh, eight three lowest so far but still uh, you would have gathered as the 106 
And a bits was the target. That's already been passed. And the fourth gymnast still to perform.